Hello, in this video I am going to felt tear from Tales of the Abyss. I've made her some time ago, but I couldn't post the creation process since it was a surprise gift request. She's quite a difficult figure to do, I think arms and legs are the hardest parts since they have a lot of layers, one on top of another. Still, as I cracked how to make them in this video, so it should be easier for you to do it by yourself, if you ever decide to make tear. Now the colors of the wool you are going to need for this figure. Skin, dark brown, light brown, white, pink, golden, crimson, blue and gray. So as always you need to felt a ball with a skin color for a face. Once you are happy with the size of it, you can make the eyes. Once again I use the cardboard template I've made. To make template like that, just draw an oval of the size you need and cut it out. I've put the eyes on the face and held them for a moment with spare big needles. When I was sure both are in the right place I felted them down and I have added pink wool for a surprise mouth and small blushes on the cheeks. After it I've felted small patches for the ears. Tara's hair isn't complex but you need a lot of wool to make them. First I've added some of the brown wool on the top of the head to build it up. Next, felted a strand of the hair. I've prepared a base for the torso before it, the usual size of 5 cm for my 6 cm head, so I could check out how long the hair needs to be. My history with Tales games is quite long. I think for this moment I can easily say I've played my first Tales game around 16 years ago. I found out about Abyss when I had a working PS2 so it was quite a long ago. I have warm feelings towards the story, it was quite nice in the game. The motive that each person in that world has a predetermined destiny is a great idea and the game builds up around it its world and characters in a very interesting way. After making two strands like that I've made a patch in the shape of Tara's forehead hair. I've made it a simple first and I've added more 3D structure later after I was sure the size and shape were right. After connecting all those parts, I've started to felt alter the big patch for back hair, but I'm going to finish it, and connect it at the end of the video. So for now face is quite done. Since I had a cylinder for a torso already done, my next step was to make smaller cylinders for the arms. I've made them with a base of brown wool first. Still, my brown base was quite slim, and once I've started to make it ticker I stopped with adding brown wool at the ends of the cylinder. Instead, I've already begun to add layers of white wool on the one side and skin on the other side. All of that because I didn't want for brown to force up and destroy white or skin color. You can build up the middle brown part to the level of the white and skin color. When you have the space for the arm done, create a patch from the brown wool. You should make it long enough, so it will have some space once you roll it around the arm. And it should be more wide in the middle, and smaller at the ends. When your patch is stiff, it's time to add that gold detail. And when it's done you felt it to the arm creating a nice 3D effect. And don't forget about that small golden detail on Tear's gloves. At this point, I've decided to work on my torso. I've added a layer of crimson wool at the top of it. And I've added some brown wool on the breast place. Abyss anime with official mangas filled up places and scenes which were only mentioned in the game quite well. I think the times when Namco created mangas for Abyss and Symphonia, they made those with more care and they really wanted to show more of the story. Later, I feel, 
Like Tails mangas were just something to do because they must, usually ending a lot faster and showing only a piece of the story. Like, if I remember right, Tales of Hearts manga ended after one volume when you finish prologue of the game. It's time for the legs. Those are made in a similar way as arms were made. One end with white, second end with skin color, and middle from crimson wool. I've made small gray patches and added them where skin and crimson meets. White patches. Because if I felt wool straight into the leg, it would take longer to do 3D effect. It's possible but I like to work on patches more. I feel like I have more power over the shape and how it will end. Try to apply those layers with a middle or small needle. I've done it with a big one and I had a lot of problems with colors breaking on the other side of my felting surface. Just remember to not bend and use smaller needles with care and focus or they will break. Once again I've created brown patches, like those for the arms, just a little smaller in order to create Tara's shoes. As for the characters I think I liked Tyr and Jade the most, Natalie was nice and her story was interesting but all her statements and talks were quite stiff. I don't know, Abyss is a Tales game that feels for me like most of the skits repeat pieces of information we already know over and over instead of adding something more or letting the story have a moment to breathe and have fun a little. Maybe in some side quests, those things were exploited more but I didn't manage to find a lot of them all those years ago. I like Luke but only after events that end with him cutting his hair. Guy was alright, I think his past and reasons for acting the way he was greatly shown in anime more than in the game, still, as I say he was a fine character. I better not talk about Annis, I try not to hate characters and usually but I can't feel different towards her, just nope, she's bottom of all Tales games character list for me. You have your arms and legs, it's time to connect them all. The next stuff you need to do is create triangle shapes for the bottom of the dress. You make two smaller ones from front and back. The ones for the sides should be a little bigger and those ones should have a top part more round, this round part ends on the hips. Once again you need to finish the edges of side patches with details, this time with white wool. What I most remember for playing Abyss is that I hated the choices they made for some gameplay mechanics. I didn't like fights and I wished for my games to be turn-based like Final Fantasy or free run like Kingdom Hearts games. 3D Tales games were in the middle of this and I wasn't fond of it, but played them because of story and characters' interactions. To this day I remember the most annoying moment in my gaming history and it was from Abyss. 
It was the moment when I had to go to the next city, I entered the map and before I even turned the camera around to see where to go I was attacked, over and over again by spawning monsters and I didn't even take a step. I wanted to look around, I was attacked and there were a lot of moments like this. So yeah, that was a bad mix for me too. While Xenosaga also had enemies on the maps, once you beat them they didn't spawn again like 30 seconds later. I don't know, maybe I should play Abyss again one day. I played Port of Symphonia when it came out but didn't go too far because gameplay made me feel tired, so I will probably never pick up the game again. But I love to find a moment and watch Abyss anime again for story and characters. I think it is the best Tales anime made from all Tales animes. It would be amazing if one day Bamco would remake Abyss with better mechanic, I would love to play that, since I really like 3 details gameplay systems after Zillia, Graces was alright too, but Zillia is the first one I really had a lot of fun while playing it. I'm sorry I mostly complained in my commentary, but sadly even if I played this game as a teenager, it wasn't one of my favorite games. Usually, I have some kind of nostalgia for games I played then, but somehow Abyss didn't click with me, I remember being amazed by a few moments in the story, but I will talk about them when I will felt Mu, and then it will be more of bright sides of my journey with the Abyss. Once you connect all parts of the dress around the legs you can start to create a shape for the collar. The shape of the dress is finished, all left are details on the front. I know the front of Ter's dress looks different each time you look at the anime or game or her official figures, in the end. I went with the version I have on her Tales of Rays model. I know there is a version of third shade of brown between the white lines and nothing stands in the way for you to do this version. The torso was done so I've moved to connecting the head. I knew I had to felt it quite well at this moment. Since once I add the back hair the access to the head will become a lot more limited and fixing it will become harder. Next. I've worked more on the patch for the back hair. I've made those squares for the bottom of the hair and I've added a lot of wool to the whole surface of the hair for it to be stiffer. With that part done, I've added it to the head, build up the top of the head more with brown wool. And that's it, Tear Grants is ready. I hope you liked this video. If yes, leave a like, subscribe or comment. See you in the next video, bye.